Uh, dealing with large files in WordPress can sometimes be a pain and there's a quick and easy way to deal with those files or any file really uh, using your Google Drive account which has unlimited space. So we're here at drive.google.com. I just went there in my browser. What I'm going to do is make a folder where anything I put in it is accessible to the world. Uh, that way I don't have to set it on each individual item. And so because that's the way it is. I'm just going to do a new folder. Um, I'm going to call it for the world, right? You want to name it something where you're sure the stuff you put in there is stuff you want the world to see. So I'll just name it, hit create. It's going to pop up here. I'm going to right click or control click here and click on the share button. I'm going to go down here to advanced. And then I'm going to click change right here. And then I'm just going to choose this top action, which is on public on the web, and hit save. So anyone on the web can see it. I can share that URL directly, and they'd be able to see anything I put in it. Um, but we're going to actually put some stuff in it here in a second. So I'm just going to click done. And I'm going to double click it, and now I'm in that folder. And I can tell that right here by this breadcrumb trail. Now, I already made a couple little tiny files here. Uh, one, I'll grab a screenshot for a image um, and then I'll throw a video in here and an audio recording. So now I've added three different media types. You see they've uploaded and they've showed up here. It takes a little bit for the video to formulate um, but now everything in here is viewable to the world. So if I wanted to use it uh, in a blog post or any other page that lets me embed HTML I can just double click it. It's going to open like this. I'm going to click over here to pop out. That's really important. And then I'm going to choose this three drop down, uh, these three little dots in a row. And I'm going to choose embed item from the drop down. So I'll copy that. And I'll flip over to the text view of my blog and paste it in. And I've gone ahead and done that. Um, I'll go ahead and do that with the. Uh, the video and audio pieces as well. So the key here, which is weird, is you double click it, then you do this pop out, and that's when this thing has embed item as an option. So I'll copy it. Because back here, if I hit that, it doesn't have that as an option, which is super annoying, but it is the way it is. Um, so just as an example, I'll hit preview. Um, this will kick through in just a second, and we'll see what this stuff looks like. So we've got the image, and we've got the audio file, and you can change some of this stuff. Like notice it says width 640 and height 480. For the uh, audio stuff, probably a height 200 is plenty. I could hit preview again and change that. Uh, do take note that, that I am in the text view here rather than in the visual view, uh, so that's important. But you can fine-tune that a bit, and that's one way to get around having to use SoundCloud or anything else like that or, and being able to deal with really large files.